Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing a Khan Academy tutorial on used geometric sequence formulas. So uh, one of the foundational pieces you'll need to know, one is that arithmetic, we've talked about this before in some other videos, that means addition and subtraction. Geometric means multiplication or division. Technically all types of division are a form of multiplying by the reciprocal but it's still the same principle. So we're doing some sort of repeated multiplication. Now, what we're gonna do is, is very similar process to what we did in arithmetic sequences. We're gonna analyze what it gives us. So it says, what is the third term in the sequence? Notice how it doesn't give us the first term. So we're not using recursive. This is when it gives us the first term, and that's when we know it's recursive because we need the previous term in order to get the next term. If it just asks for the third term, we know that it's an explicit formula and we can just plug in the number that it's desiring. In this case, it's three. Really wanted you to see that I've highlighted the three. Let me get rid of some of that junk. Okay, and then plug it in for N. I almost did a psych out there. So here we go. So we're gonna see three, the third term in this sequence, four over nine times negative three to the, what power? It's gonna be to the three minus one power. Okay, we need to simplify four over nine still times, I'm gonna just change it a little bit, negative three, still in parentheses, to the second power. Now we have order of operations. We have negative three in the parentheses, nothing more to do there, but we take it to the second power and that's nine. So we have four over nine, this is still C, the third term, third term, times negative three times itself twice, that's what that means, that squared is nine, we could put it nine over one, but it's the same thing, times nine. And it cross cancels with that nine, leaving us just four. So the four, uh, third term in that sequence is the number four. C three equals four. We're gonna punch that in and we're gonna move on. My uh, first hour requested this video. Hopefully they find it helpful. Okay, I know you guys are at home during these weird times, but here we go. Now, it gives us the first term. Immediately, I'm thinking recursive. Okay, so recursive. And we know that the first term is negative 11. What's the fourth term in the sequence? Well, it gives us some information. It gives us that we take the previous term. And just a, a reminder, uh, n is the current term. Okay, and then n minus one is the previous term. So recursive formulas always use the previous term. In this case, it's n minus one as designated, as designated a to the n minus one, uh, a of n minus one, I should say. And then it's giving us the rate or the change, how we're changing each time, we're multiplying by 10. So we take the previous term, green, take the previous term, I'm trying to spell it very fast, and we multiply that term by 10 to get the next term or the current term, I should say. Okay, current term. Too much writing, what am I doing? Let's get to it. So, I have negative 11, that's my, uh, that's my first term. I need to multiply it by, by 10. Okay, that's my rate, or my rate of change, however you wanna say it. I multiply it by 10, and that's gonna give me a negative 110. Okay, I need to repeat this process until I get to box four, because we're looking for our fourth term. Boom, fourth term, look at it. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply by 10 again. I'll multiply by 10 again. I'm just gonna add a zero each time I do this. So negative one, one, zero, zero, and then negative one, one, zero, zero, zero. Okay, so that's negative uh, 11,000. So that escalated very quickly, and that's gonna be my fourth term in the sequence. Let's punch it in. Negative one, one, zero, 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 check it. Okay, next question, two more. What is the third term? Notice how it doesn't give us the first term. This is explicit, explicit content here, okay? That means we can just punch it right in. We can plug this directly in and it will tell us our third term. Explicits are the way to go, people. They are great, makes it a lot easier. So D of three, D three equals negative five times one half to the three minus one. I just substitute that n with a three. So I have negative five times one half to the second power. Well, negative five times, well, one half to the second power is gonna be one half times one half, or one over four. 
Okay, so now I have negative 5 over 4. When I do that multiplication, put that over 1 if you struggle with multiplying uh, fractions. And that's it. That's going to be our third term. So we need to make a fraction here. Fraction 5, 4. Was it negative? I can't remember if it was. Aha, uh -huh, it was negative. How did I miss that? Good thing I double-checked. Okay, so when your teachers tell you, check your answer, it's actually a good thing. So I need to make this a negative 5 up in the top. Check it. Okay, nice work. I would have got it wrong. That would have been embarrassing for all of YouTube to see. Okay, recursive. Do you, do you know why? Because it gives us the first term. So we got first term equals negative 500. We want the third term. Okay, so we need to do it three times. We're told that we take the previous term in the green, and we're going to multiply it by 4 over 5. So each one of these, I should do that in blue. Okay, so here's it in blue. That's what we're doing. We're going to multiply it by... 4 over 5. Multiply it by 4 over 5 two times. Okay, so negative 500 times 4 over 5. Well, let's go over here, negative 500. Well, I know the divide by 5 is going to give me a negative 100, but then I still need to multiply it by 4. Okay, that's how I would do multiply by 4 over 5. You could do negative 500 times 4 and then divide by 5. I think it's easier to divide by 5 first. So anyway, I get negative, what is that, 400? Okay, and that makes sense because we're multiplying by a fraction smaller than 1, so it should be going down. Now we're multiplying negative 400 times 4 over 5. Okay, this is where it's going to get a little dicey. So I'm going to do 400 divided by 5 first, 400 divided by 5, and that's giving me 80. Go ahead, so I get negative 80, and I still need to multiply that by 4, so I'm going to get negative 320. And that's going to be my final answer. Start with negative 500, multiply by 4 over 5, it's going to stay negative negative 320. And that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more videos like this, either for Khan Academy, uh, Khan Academy CUDA or other, any other math. Just leave a comment. Let me know what you need. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.